What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Martin and Bella, like always, man. Today, I want to talk to y'all about why I quit working at Red Lobster. A lot of people, they be asking me why I quit working at Red Lobster, so I'm going to go ahead and get to the video, man. No cap. But before I get into this video, man, if y'all new, make sure y'all smack that subscribe button, man. I don't know which y'all waiting you know. on. If y'all new to the channel, bro, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, man. No cap. Story times daily. Not me, cuz. But let's get to the video. So when I first got there, bro, like, I, it felt like, it just felt weird working at a restaurant job because, like, okay, so, so far I had, like, two restaurant jobs. The first job that I had was a Jimmy John's, and then I worked at a Red Lobster, but Jimmy John's is different because Jimmy John's is, like, a almost like a fast food restaurant. Yeah, Jimmy John's is, like, a fast food restaurant, and then Red Lobster is, like, one of those little places you go out to dinner, so it's kind of, like, slow. But it just felt, it just felt kind of weird that I was working at Red Lobster. So when I got there, the, the manager, she interviewed me and shit. She seemed like she was cool, bro. But then it was like, I ain't gonna say no names, bro. But it was this dark-skinned dude, bro. Oh, somebody said that me. Nah. So some, there was this dude, right, bro? He was just looking at me and shit, bro. Like, okay, so when we first went in, I was sitting at the little table, the little booth or whatever, and the manager was talking to me, and then across from us was, like, the bar, and that's where he was at, and he was just looking at me and shit, like, he knew me or some shit, I'm like, oh, okay, I right. he probably knew me or some shit, I'll probably know him, I don't know, and then, so the manager, I could tell, like, she, 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 she was, like, weird, not weird, but, like, the manager, I could tell she was, like, rude and she was mean just by like how the way she was like talking to me and shit like like you could tell if a person like mean as hell because the way they talking to you and shit it sound like they got an attitude and shit so <clears throat> she's like oh well i'll let you know if you got the job this and that and and if you get the job you need to buy this from this store and buy this and that and i was like okay all right i got you all right so first day my nigga the first day i was training who was i training with oh i was training with somebody bro it was it was perfectly fine then like I was just getting to know people and shit. Then it was like this girl, bro. I'm not gonna say her name because she probably be watching my shit. And like she a server or some shit. And like oh my god, bro, she looked ugly as shit, my nigga. Like she had like I don't, I'm gonna try to explain this to y'all, bro. I'm gonna try to explain this shit like clear as shit. So like, all right. So one side of her hair was shaved, right? Then on the other side was like a, her little hair. Her hair, like, like on some Rihanna fucking Carrie Hilson shit. Like, her shit was, like, this side was shaved and all that shit. All her hair was going to this side of shit. I was, and she was dark-skinned and she was, like, almost kind of fat. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, I ain't never seen that before. And she, her name, bro, I'm not saying her name because I can't do it. I can't put her out on the spot like that. She was ugly as shit. But her, she, she was trying to get on that with me. Like, she was trying to not try to get on that, like, try to talk to me. But she was, like, trying to, like trying to like piss me off and shit saying shit to me and shit i was i don't know bro she was kind of blowing me like the first day i was there bro so basically the servers they were like oh you better not be like the the last host that was there this and that because the last host he all he was doing was just skipping over us this and that and we needed tables i'm all right whatever like all right cool like okay like what you telling me for but then second day it was it was perfectly fine bro like i had to like seat the gas and then after they get up and leave and then fucking just clean the table and like not like get all the trays and shit and put that bitch in the kitchen like i thought i had to fucking just clean the table with the the spray and shit like that's thought i, I thought that's what i had to do but when i say them them next couple when i say the next couple of days bro they was trying to get on it with me bro like they was like they was trying to get on my ass like bro what you mean like i'm still training bro like and like there's numbers my nigga like there's numbers one through 50 like like each server they got like each server they got like four tables so it's like one through four for it for i'm gonna give y'all an example so basically <clears throat> One through four. So one through four, I that's a server section. And then four through like eight or some shit, that's another server section. So you gotta sit them like one time and you go in like a whole rotation. I didn't know that. Like I was using the little tablet and shit. And when you use a little tablet and put it in where people send that and like and all that, like it does it's inaccurate. Sometimes it's accurate and sometimes it's inaccurate, but <clears throat> I'm not say I was using that because I didn't like really know where to sit them because like I was new to that shit. Like how am I supposed to know what to do? But I was getting, I was kind of getting there. And then when I started, like once I got off training, I was working by myself, bro. Oh my god. So one, so one day, right, I went in, 
I was like fucking, I clocked in or whatever, and they were like, everybody, I don't know, like, I could tell it was kind of some bad energy and shit, because, like, some people, bro, when I walk in, they don't say shit to me, I don't say shit to them, like, at all, like, that's, that's how it is, bro, like, normally when you go to work with somebody, like, one of y'all would say what's up first, but I feel like, some of them, like, they didn't fuck with me, so I'm like, I right, fuck that, I'm not saying shit to you, I'm like, just walk past your ass, put my shit in the back, and go back to the front, when I got to the whole section, like, it's like a tablet right here, a fat ass tablet in front of you, and like it's numbers in it, and it's like the sections, and it let you know like who section open and who section closed, and what's closed and what's open. So somebody walked in, you know, I sent them at the at the um, the first one through four, you know, sent them through there, and then after you sit them, you gotta tell you gotta tell the host. I mean, not the host, but you gotta tell the server that you sat them there. That's that's what you're supposed to do. I didn't know that. I didn't start doing that shit until like I was like working there for like a, a whole month. So nobody nobody told me that. So, like, bro, when I say they would kind of irritate me, bro, like, it's kind of irritating me. Like, I know I'm going off the subject and on the subject, but, like, they would just kind of irritate me, bro. Like, now that I think about it, bro, I'm, I'm just getting mad because motherfuckers, they were just pissing me off. So, it will be days when I was there by myself, and then people would come up to me like, oh, you skipping me, this and that. I'm like, bro, I'm not skipping you at all. I know what I'm doing. The whole time I didn't know what I was doing, I was using the tablet. I was going by what the tablet was saying, but I was supposed to go off of myself because the tablet, it'd be wrong. But, <clears throat> so after, they kept they kept going to the manager, telling the manager, like, I was skipping over them. And so I'm like, bro, like, what you mean? Like, just like my first couple of days working by myself, and I'm trying to get used to this shit, bro. After... Once I got used to like the little numbers and shit, I didn't use the tablet no more. So after the after that, I was just going by the numbers. Like just after that, I was just sitting, I was going in the order. And people were still coming up to me saying like I was skipping them. And that time I knew what I was doing. Like after that, I knew exactly what I was doing. They was just doing that. Like they was just trying to harass me and shit. I ain't I ain't go to no manager because like bro, like I'm a nigga, bro. Like why would I want to go to a manager and tell somebody harassing me, bro? Ain't nobody like I'm not I'm not like that, bro. Like I'm, like, I'm the type of person, like, if you harass me, bro, I'm gonna end up just going off on you, but I didn't do none of that, but they just kept harassing me, saying, oh, you skipping over me, and this and that, and I'm like, okay, I know exactly what I'm doing, and they go, they go tell the manager, like, oh, he's skipping over me, and shit, and this and that, and the manager, she come up to the front, and she'd be like, you sure you know what you're doing? I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm doing, I'm going in the order, so she's like, who's next? And she know who's next, so I said, like, I told her who was next, and she's like, oh, okay. So the hours I was there, it was supposed to be from 12 to 4. Sometimes they had me working till, like, fucking 7 or some shit like like for example some people they come in earlier than me because i'm supposed to be there at 12 they come in at like 11 and they leave at like they leave at four right so they wait till like the next the next what's that thing called the next person to take their spot to go so basically what i was doing is i was waiting on like because i was leaving working from 12 to 4 and basically i was waiting on my my relief which is somebody that's supposed to take my spot and i'll go and then some, they be like, oh, you're not supposed to be going nowhere. You here till 7. Um, what? Nobody told me I was here to 7? I was I was told I was here. I I was told that I was supposed to leave when my relief got here. And I was like, bro, whatever. Like, one day I was working fucking from 12, from 12 p.m. all the way to 10, bro. And, like, I didn't take no break or nothing. I couldn't take a break. I couldn't take a break because it was hella fucking people there, bro. It was hella parties coming in. It was just mad people, bro. Like, I couldn't take a break. And then, not only that, bro. There was this, there was this, this, um, there was this girl, bro, I'm not gonna say her name either, but she, she, she was harassing me a lot. Oh, my phone about to die. There was this girl, she was harassing me a lot, bro, and she was irritating me, bro. She was like, why is you skipping over me, this and that, this and that, and I'm not skipping, like I said, I'm not skipping over you, I'm just going in an order, and then... It'll be, it'll be times where I'll, I'll get them tables, bro. They be like, oh, they, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I did this shit on purpose. So they be like, oh, I'm skipping over them, right? So I'll be like, all right, bet. I got your ass. So next, but when the next couple of people came in, bro, I said they asked like twice. Three, two or three times, bro. And they'll be like, thank you. That's what I'm talking about. And then I keep going to rotation, right? And then after that, they be like, oh, he's giving me more tables and this and that. Skip over me and this and that. Um, okay, all right. So I skip over them and then it'll be like, more and more people came in and I had to sit them at their section and they'll get mad at me. I'm like, for what? Like, I gotta go in a fucking a rotation. I'm not gonna put them on a wait list and fucking they gonna get mad at me. Then they gonna wanna talk to the manager and then I end up getting trouble for some dumb shit. Back to the subject, the girl, she, bro, she would harass me. She would say, I'm skipping over her. And all right, so one day me and her got into like a little argument and she would be like, oh, this and that. And I was like, I bet. 
she was, cause she was complaining, I was skipping over her, and I was like, I right, bet, I'm gonna skip, I, I, was, I forgot what I said, I said, bet, I'm not finna clean your tables, cause I, I had to clean tables and shit too, bro, I was the only, like, y'all gotta understand, bro, I was the only host, bro, and it was so hard, like, I'm, it's one host, right, and I gotta do everything, bro, it's like 50, 56, it's like 56 tables, my nigga, and I gotta do all this shit by myself, I gotta, Fucking walk, sit them at the table, clean somebody's section, put that shit in the kitchen, then wipe it off and put that bitch on, put that, put it in on a tablet, and I had to keep doing that, bro, and I had to keep doing it over and over. Then, bro, like, like me and her got into like that argument. I was like, bet, I'm finna just, I'm not finna clean your table. She, I bet. So she go tell the manager. The manager like, oh well, I'm sorry, but you gotta clean this table, and I know it's hard for you because you by yourself, and the the next your relief gets in in a couple hours, and this and that. I was mad as hell, bro, cause like, cause me and her got into an argument. She could have cleaned that shit herself, bro, and there was nobody in her for. There was nobody in her section, bro, at all. Nobody. She could have cleaned that shit. I was busy with other shit, bro. The first girl that I was telling you about when I first got there, bro, the manager treated her ass, bro. That shit was funny, bro. I would never forget that. So, like, I was sitting at the whole section, right? And fucking, it was, like, a couple other servers, like, behind me and shit, seeing, like, the who was next and this and that. So, the this girl, she came up, and the manager was right there with me, too, and she was talking to me and shit. And she was, the girl was like, oh, I'm tired of you skipping over me and this and that. And she was, she was basically talking shit while I was in front of her, but I didn't want to go off on her because I'm crazy as hell, and I don't want nobody to see the crazy side of me, bro. And then I was just there quiet, bro, and I wanted to say something, but I wasn't going to do it because the manager was right there and shit. I don't want to get fired. And then the manager was like, she was, she said something, and then she was like, Go drink some water. Yo, yo, hair look like it's dry, bro. That shit was funny as hell, bro. She was salty. And she was training a girl, bro. The girl she was training was right behind her when she said that shit. And then she went, she went into the the little kitchen part and then she was like she was looking salty and she's like, I don't know why the manager said this to me and I try not to be like a mean person, but this and that, and bro, that shit was just funny as hell. The customers, they was on some rude ass shit, bro. Like, they was I, I can't do nothing, bro. Like, somebody will raise their voice at me. I can't do nothing. I'd be like, okay, calm down, this and that. And motherfuckers just come, like, motherfuckers wake up with a bad day and then they try to take that bitch. They try to take that shit with them to, like, a restaurant and take that shit out on a server or host or, like, a manager or some shit. Like, like what's up with y'all, bro? Y'all wake up with a bad day and y'all take that shit with y'all, bro. Y'all gotta move around with that shit. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. When I was there, bro, I was a nice ass, quiet ass, getting everything done person, bro. Like, it'd be days, like, sometimes I had to hold the door open for somebody, like, an elderly person and like sit them at the table and shit it's like and then another day another day my nigga so this is what happened this lady was like oh can you help me my husband he's in a wheelchair and this and that so i left i left what i had to do bro like i was at the whole section you know i gotta be sending people it was more and more people coming in so i told the person that was at the the takeout because takeout was like right next to me and shit i was like all right i gotta help this this lady get her her husband out the car so i did that i had to pick him up i had to put him in a wheelchair and i had to walk him in and i had to sit him down at a at a um i think he was yeah i had to sit him at a, a table bro like bro like i'm a nice ass person bro like what you expect this elderly person and his mom so i set them i set them at a i was like did y'all want a booth or a table he told me a booth my nigga so i was like okay so i put it in on the little tablet and then i said welcome to the booth and he started going off on me i'm like i'm like in my head like bro you wanted a booth like you wanted a booth bro why you why you getting mad at me for it and then i set him at the table bro and then he was like oh this and that he kept going off and raising his voice and shit i'm like, all right bro i'm gonna just i walked away i didn't say nothing i just walked away from his ass i was like all right whatever me bro the reason why i stopped working there was because that job was just full of bad energy bro and i i just didn't fuck with people people was pissing me off and i know people be like oh that's just a job you gotta ignore them and go on bro when i say i was literally finna just go off on somebody and i was gonna get fired anyway that's that's what it was bro honestly i would not recommend like y'all not to work at no red lobster bro don't don't do it bro i'm gonna save y'all the time bro i'm gonna save y'all the time or maybe it's just a red lobster that's out here where i live at but that's that's up to y'all if y'all want to work at a red lobster and go through the shit that i was dealing with bro especially as a host and shit bro that's that's, that's it is what it is but um that's the end of this video man if y'all like this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe if y'all want to see more videos like this man let me know turn on notifications do all that man no cap and that's the end of the video man ski gang i'm out